हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू टीचिंग अपटूड पेपर ऑन सॉल्व फॉर पुणे यूनिवर्सिटी सेट एग्जामिनेशन 2018 थाउजेंड एटी पार्ट सेवन सो फ्रेंड्स बिफोर आई स्टार्ट प्लीज वॉच माय प्रीवियस पार्ट्स एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल गूगल ऑनलाइन यूनिवर्सिटी ओके सो दिस वाज 41st एंड 42nd सेकंड क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम बुकलेट ए फॉर टीचिंग अपटीट्यूड आई सजेस्ट यू रीड द क्वेश्चन दिस एंड बेस्ड ऑन दिस डेटा देर वॉज देर वेर टू क्वेश्चन सो आई विल डायरेक्टली गो टू द क्वेश्चन इफ यू हैव नॉट रेड प्लीज रीड द Uh, questions by pausing the video so moving on to the question so friends <coughs> first question on that uh, data was uh, for your reference i have given the table uh, uh, to the <coughs> right side what is the possible maximum number of student in division b who passed in all the four subjects so friends it is very easy uh, to understand okay <coughs> in b division you just see the minimum uh, uh, like uh, lowest number uh, that is the possible maximum uh, uh, students uh, who have passed so lowest number in b division in english 34 hindi 32 in marathi 36 and in history it is 30 so you have to uh, that is the correct answer 30 is the correct answer here hope friends you have understood it now moving on to the next question the maximum possible number of student who passed both hindi and marathi in three divisions combined is now friends uh, here here also you have to lose use the same logic like you see for a b in hindi uh, like uh, in uh, you have to combine them so <coughs> maximum student passed is in a division it is 30 in b uh, division it is 32 in uh, these two subjects hindi and marathi and in c division it is 31 so if you add up uh, this three uh, yeah, a uh, number like 30 plus 32 is 62 plus 31 it is 93 so option a is the correct option here friends hope you have understood this okay the correct option is a okay moving on to the next question now the phrase <coughs> giving personal attention to each students individually is an example of so friends uh, here you can see succinct means uh, sh- uh, precise so that that cannot be the see this is not pre- uh, precise statement so they have given one phrase but that phrase like you, you see what is the phrase it could have been uh, giving a <coughs> personal attention to each students it should have been done there only uh, so individually is then extra word now circum location also location also is not the correct here wordiness also is not correct so totology is the correct answer for this so why totology because they have used an extra word or extra phrase to explain because see they could have done away with individually hope friends you have understood this so totology is the correct answer circum location also can be the answer but it is not the answer Uh, okay friends uh, a and c anyways is ruled out in wordiness you use the uh, see for uh, one word you use three four words but that thing has not happened here here uh, you, the phrase is explained in two uh, words like <coughs> personal attention and individually see the individual means also personal and uh, uh, personal attention is like both are same words so totology is the correct answer here okay friends moving on to the next question now which of the following is the most recent and dependable source of information on broad scientific topic so friends uh, bibliography like it is not uh, is ruled out N- new textbook also ruled out because uh, for broad scientific and uh, broad scientific uh, terms you cannot rely on this but see uh, research paper and review article these two things uh, the competition is between these two so most recent is it can be a res- uh, research paper or review article but see recent and dependable source but they have said ki broad scientific topic so friend research paper focuses on small scientific topic if you have a review article it focuses on more uh, like you have to say review article can have hundreds of paper but <coughs> a broad topic so i will go with uh, review article c okay the correct answer is c hope friends you have wrote it correctly move on to the next question now this is quite a simple question i uh, thought of eliminating it but because some of you have asked it uh, i have included in the context of in the context of computer generated typed text identify the odd non verbal clue from the following so 
as everybody could have written it it's just emoticon bold italic underline you know it is used in the word if you have used microsoft word emoticon is different thing okay friends so this was it for this lesson hope you have liked it if you have liked it please subscribe to my channel it will help me grow thank you